Does it look like God would get involved in these petty squabbles? Like, oh, you're cut off. You have no male kids. So they were being nasty to Muhammad, right? And then in response, God says, no, you're cut off. You guys, you are cut off, not Muhammad. Muhammad, he's got al kaltar What do you guys have? This is a very short surah that's only three ayah or four if you count the Bismillah. So some people count Bismillah as one of the verses of the Quran. Some people don't count it. Uh, with the standard count that we have today in the 1924 Cairo uh, edition, there's 6,236 verses in the Quran. But apparently, as I found out recently, Ahmadiyya's count the Bismillah as part of the verse. So all of the numbering is different, which is quite confusing uh, from all the other Muslims. So this is an interesting surah. It's a very short surah. The, the background of Surah Kauta is that people were saying to Muhammad, this is what I was taught. People were saying to Muhammad that you are cut off. You are cut off because you have no male progeny. So, so in that culture, it was a big thing that you, people wanted to have male children. They wanted the family to continue through the, because it was a, it's a patriarchy. So a patrilineal culture where lineage continues to the men, not to the women. So obviously it's arbitrary, but in this culture, it was to the males. Now, this example is a response to the Kufa who were saying, oh, you're going to be cut off, right? So this surah is actually responding to that by saying, no, you are the one who is going to be cut off, not not me, Muhammad, me, Muhammad, I'm not cut off. You guys are cut off. I'm going to get Al-Kawtar. So what is Al-Kawtar? Al-Kawtar, the Surah says, we granted you Al-Kawtar, right? Al-Kawtar can be interpreted in many different ways, right? Some, some people translate it as abundance. Some people translate it as literally Al-Kawtar, which is a river in paradise, right? So if you go to the if you go to a different website, which one of my one another website that I like is called uh, Quran X. And on Quran X we have Tafsir, which is pretty cool, right? And it links to you, you know, in the Tafsir you can find actually and even sometimes there's even directly hadith, there's a hadith button and you can actually see hadith as well. Um, so basically, Kauta is a river. It's a river in paradise that Muhammad is going to be scooping out uh, water and giving to people before the the day of judgment. So everything in Islam is all about um, not everything in Islam, but you know many things in Islam are used. Is it's basically to scare people, right? And to make people believe in Muhammad and obey Muhammad, right? So in one of the hadith, this one is in Jamia Tirmidhi, it says that al kauta is a river that Allah gave me in paradise, wider than milk and sweeter than honey. In it are birds whose necks are like the necks of camels. Indeed, indeed this is plump and luxurious then. Omar added that. <laughs> it's like, yeah. That's some good birds. It must be like a delicious type of chicken, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he was thinking about eating them. Uh, oh, yeah. And Muhammad said, yeah, those who consume it are more plump than, than it. <laughs> so they're saying, so Muhammad was like, I have this river. It's beautiful river in paradise. It's wider than milk and sweeter than honey. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds a little bit disgusting. Like sweeter than honey? Like by Allah, honey is already too sweet. Do I really want something sweeter than honey? Uh, now my wife is sweeter than honey, so she's the exception. But uh, other than that, uh, I don't think I like anything sweeter than honey. So yeah, this hadith is sourced from Jamia Tirmidhi. Uh, it's considered sahih. But this is not the only one. 
right? This is um, there's other there's other um ones you can find as well. For example, this one in Abu Dawood, uh, Albani considered it uh, authentic, and it's he said that uh, when Prophet was lifted to heavens, a river with banks with transparent or hollowed pills was presented to him, and and then he and then he got some musk or something, and he said, "This is Al Kauta, which Allah gave you." Someone was saying that it, uh, Ibrahim said, "I think it's because they weren't used to sweet food." Yeah, that's a good part. That's a good theory. Like. You know, maybe it was like, um, you know, they're not used to su- sweets and this was like a luxury for them. Now we have, uh, I don't know, too much sweets and we're all getting fat. <laughs> so so uh, here we go. So Allah said he gave Muhammad al kauta So Muhammad gave himself al kauta to make himself feel better. And uh, then he said, so pray to your Lord and sacrifice to him. So this this is meant to... This is meant like sacrifice animals to him and also just in general sacrifice to him. And um, lastly, it says, no, it's your enemy that's cut off. So one of my friends who was a Muslim told me that, well, the Quran doesn't take into account Muhammad temperament. The Quran is, has a neutral tone, but does it look like it has a neutral tone to you? Does it look like God would get involved in these petty squabbles? Like, oh, you're cut off. You have no male kids. So they were being nasty to Muhammad, right? And then in response, God says, no, you're cut off. You guys, you are cut off, not Muhammad. Muhammad, he's got al kautar What do you guys have? You guys got nothing. You just have nothing. So, I mean, it's kind of silly, but they used to really put a big emphasis on this whole thing about lineage. Um... They they had like they used to know the the ancestry to go back like they used to have the memorized ancestry going back several generations right when somebody says bin like bin Laden that actually means the son of Laden right so it's just like it's the names they keep going back and back right so they had they used to have these long chains where they used to be they used to be proud that I'm Qureshi or I'm this or I'm that and now. Even in the, the Desi community, you have a lot of people with these names like uh, Qureshi. You have names like, um, you know, Sayyid. Um, and you have, you, and the, they are claiming to have like Arab ancestry now, right? Which I don't know how true it is. A lot, a lot of people are claiming to be Sayyid, which means that they go back to the time of Muhammad. Why didn't Allah give Muhammad any son? You know, this is an interesting question. Well, it's a very interesting question. How is it that Muhammad only had kids from Khadija and none of his other wives? Like, it's a very good question. How is it with so many wives who had kids, none of them were... like? He wasn't having kids with any of them. And then, I mean, he uh, there's a story that he had Ibrahim with Maria. And then the baby died, right? The baby Ibrahim died. And that's when, you know, there's an incident behind that. But but it's, it doesn't add up. There's something fishy. There's something really fishy about, about the story of Muhammad and the details of Muhammad's life. How is it that um, there's no... You know, like, like, how does that work? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure actually. I don't understand why Muhammad didn't have any kids, other than with Khadija. So with Khadija, he had Fatima, he had Rukaya, he had Um Kaltum. I don't know if he had any other kids. At least three, like three daughters. Uh, I don't know why he had only daughters and not sons. I don't know why that is. Um, no idea. No idea. But yeah, good question. Good question. Um, Someone said he had a low sperm count. I, I don't know. So either that or maybe a lot of the details about his life are just made up and they just don't add up because it, this is like a red flag. Like so many years of having sex and no kids. Like it's weird, weird, really strange. They didn't have contraceptives back then, right? So uh, unless they they hid the 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 births or they died or something like that and we just don't know the details. Um, but... 
I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, going back to this, indeed, your enemy is the one that's cut off. Like, does this seem like something a god would write? It's almost like like a like a godly rap battle. You insult my prophet, I insult you back, right?